if you're looking for girl next door everyday relatable good neutral makeup on black skin keep watching <laughs> Hello, <laughs> happy new year. Yes, I know I'm saying happy new year in February. This is because this is my very first YouTube video in 2024. Can you imagine what have I been doing all through the beginning of the year? I mean, I have been just living life, going through all the different um, changes in my life and just settling into all of that. So forgive me that I've been MIA, but it sure is good to be back yeah if this is your first time on what's up tell me well, welcome it's amazing to have you here and if you're a recurring viewer thank you so much for kicking it with me once again my name is tomiwa and over here what's up tomiwa i share everything i'm interested in so pretty much lifestyle fashion mm -hmm. sometimes i share skincare stuff because if you've been following me for a while you know that i've been on a skincare journey and i mean we're at a pretty decent place now where we have healthy skin i mean from where we're coming from <laughs> but um let me know if you want just an updated skincare video on how i got from this to what we currently have before I digress, if you're interested in lifestyle content, beauty, skincare, fashion, you know, if that is your thing, hit the subscribe button you see on your screen and turn on the notification bell so you get notified for my next couple of videos. Now, today's video is going to be a makeup video. I don't do these often. That's because of imposter syndrome. I feel like, oh, I'm not a makeup girl. There's so many, you know, YouTube buddies that are slaying this makeup thing and I'm like, what does little old me have to share? But that's the thing about imposter syndrome, right? When you have something to share, it prevents you from sharing. So you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get to the point where you are an expert at the thing. If you feel like you have something to share, if you feel like you have a perspective to, you know, add to the conversation, by all means do it. And the best part is if people are asking for it, like this video, like, I mean, I did just the random makeup and everybody was going on about oh how much they liked my neutral makeup and I asked if to share it and people unanimously said they wanted me to share it on YouTube so yes I'm sharing the makeup routine even though I'm not a makeup expert I'm not an MUA as they call it so if you're looking for perfect brows this is not the video for you but if you're looking for girl next door everyday relatable good neutral makeup on black skin keep watching the funny thing about this particular makeup look is that I have actually shot it before but you know what they say second time is the charm okay actually that's the third time but you get what I mean <laughs> very first thing I like to do after my sunscreen is to apply um what you call it setting powder oh wait is it snowing it's snowing now. I'm about to go out but anyways let's quickly do this so I like to apply um, setting powder over my face first I'm currently using the Becca cosmetic one And I'm gonna try and be quick as quick as possible with this one um, so I just dust just some makeup all over my skin like so like that I saw this routine somewhere and I love the finish so I've been doing it since then yeah setting powder right after your skincare and after that I am going to apply um, setting spray so yeah there's a lot of setting spray and I apply generously over my face I don't have those you know rechargeable fans that you just hold to dry your makeup and everything I'm gonna go old school and use my hands to dry that baby up right um, once I'm done I'm going to go in with primer I'm going to use the Georgette Klinger um, primer over my face and we're just gonna do just some right Next up, we're gonna go in with this Rare Beauty foundation and we're gonna go in with it in this shade, right? So I'm gonna go in with my, so right there, right there. It's a little bit lighter than my skin, so I do not like to use too much. Plus, I always, always like like very light skin-like finish. You know, I don't really mind if my, whatchamacallit, my spots, or my hyperpigmentation is still showing a little bit because this is as I said girl next door everyday makeup so we're just going to go in and dab that in let me use a mirror to get this done faster 
yeah i'm just gonna dab that in this is what my face looks like after foundation it's a tad bit lighter than my skin tone um but trust the process it would blend in with my skin when i am completely done next i want to go in with concealer but i want to just dampen my beauty blender a little bit so for concealer i'm going to use this kevin or coin do you see it i'm going to use that kevin or coin and is in shade sx11 right and i'm going to just use my dampened and beauty blender to lift up a little bit this. so lift up a little bit put it in that corner put it in that corner put a little right here and put it here and on the bridge of my nose a little goes a long way with this one I've found okay at this point you're probably wondering what is going on because my face is looking white and even me i'm like hmm <laughs> but trust the process i mean i promise we're getting somewhere good so the next thing i'll do is to take my foundation blush and just blow blow the edges because i don't want there to be any sharp lines between my foundation and my concealer so i will take my foundation blush brush rather <laughs> and just take around the edges of where I put the concealer because I do not want any sharp lines I just want it to blend seamlessly into my face next up I go with a beauty blender and I go back in with my Becca setting powder or whatever setting powder you use to be honest and I just set that concealer that I have done so I don't bake I, I just I don't cake I don't bake or whatever it is that um, some of these makeup artists still do or the people still bake i don't know <laughs> but yeah i don't i literally just take the setting powder and put it over the areas where i put um concealer put it over my nose over my forehead and that's everywhere i put concealer and then i go in with my setting spray again and i set that I need this to dry pasta. <laughs> I really should get one of those rechargeable fans because this is this is ridiculous. For powder, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix and I'm using it in shade NC50. Right? And so we go in with that. All my brushes are Sephora, by the way, but I'll put the link to um, everything I use. And I just dust it all over my face. Dust that powder all over yes including the places I put concealer after I use my powder I then go in with this Mac sculpt and shape contour palette it's the studio fix palette yeah and I just go in and contour my face lightly so I go in with this shade yeah and I go right there that dark natural dark portion of my lips my face rather yeah we're gonna do the same thing for the other side and I just take it into my hairline you know just a little bit just gonna dust that into the hairline bring it down a little bit I don't do too much because this is like a neutral makeup so I don't want it to be like super defined or anything I just want it to be soft and subtle afterwards I go in with this complex culture palette called pleasures point it's also like a contour palette as well actually it's more like a bronzer and a highlighter yeah and I go in with this shade and I just want to add some color to my skin and smile and just do it at you know that crease of my yeah so you do that again I take that up and then I take it into my hairline okay and then I bring this down as well into my jawline because there's a natural shadow around your jawline so you want to do that yeah 
I also take this bronzer and I use it to define my nose instead of using a contour. Alright, take it into my brow. Okay. Okay. And when I do that, I always like to go in with my powder brush and just give that a smooth because again, I don't want uneven definitions. I want everything to blend into into themselves. I don't want any hash lines, so I use my powder brush to blow out any potential hash lines. This is what we have so far, and the warmth is already back into my face, but just for that extra kick, I like to go in with this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Sun Power, right? This is clearly loved. You can see it's almost finished. It has this warm sunset um, glow that it gives, or you can still use a blush yeah so I just put it where I would normally put my blush and again just take it up right do you see that sun-kissed look I have on my cheeks those rosy cheeks and the honest truth is I'm good like this right but um, I just want to add just a little bit of blush to my cheeks, right? So we're going to go in with this Whispering Rose Blush Palette. And I'm going to go in with this color. Yeah. And just add some extra. The reason why I really use this um, blush is because... It has like a sheen to it that I love so you don't even need to put like highlighter over there the blush just does the job so I'm done with the skin skin work is that what it's called yes I think that's what it's called I'm done with the skin work just left my eyes and my lips to do but again I like to just use my powder brush to just blow everything out yeah Remember, no hash lines. That's the moral of the story. So I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna use this MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof Brow Set. It's in the shade Chestnut, right? And it's not my shade, but then since I bought it erroneously, I have just used it and it works for me. So I use it to set my brows. It's like a brown shade, but somehow it works to not let my brows be too um, dark which I like and next I go in with the MAC eyebrow styler in the shade stud so this I need to be a bit tricky about all right so what I like to do first is I draw my under eye because that defines the shape for me right so I draw the line I want for my under eye yeah and once I've drawn one I go to the other side and attempt and it's just an attempt because remember i told you that this is not the page for perfect brows <laughs> yeah okay so now that i've gotten the under shape i go in and i get my corners right get my corners right same here i go in and get my corners right And then afterwards, I just do upward strokes. Yeah, so I just do upward strokes that kind of mimic like the way my hair grows. And now it's time to brush all that out. So I really do not care too much for perfect brows. So I do not clean the under or define the under of my brows with concealer because I really like that soft um, brow. 
now that I've done my brows let's do my eyelids for my eyes I'm going to do a soft smoky shadow and I'm just going to go in with my contour MAC contour palette and I'm going to use the contour to achieve that I just want like a soft soft smoky look as opposed to anything so I put it in the corners of my eyes and bring it up my crease I think that's what this is called yeah the corners of my eye bring it up into my crease yeah and after I do that I literally go in with this shade and I just put it over the yeah, I just do that and finally I go in with this Violet Boss Essentials it's a makeup palette and I go in with this shade no let's go in with this shade I go in with this soft pink I just tap a little and I put it right there at the center right there I mean we don't want to do too much because I just want it to be like super 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 neutral and super simple I go in with the stiller waterproof liquid eyeliner right and we're just going to start from the center right and drag that outward okay And we're gonna make the line like we're gonna do that to the other eye as well okay. so the two wings are nowhere near the same but it's gonna work Oh, before I forget, for my under eye, I go in again with this MAC Contour Palette and I just like to add like a little shadow under my under eye. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Kajal. I mean, it's all peeled off in the shade Extra Noir or Extra Black. And when I'm going to do that, inside our under eye and also inside our upper eyelid so i'll do the upper eyelid first and do that okay and then we'll do the under eyelid Ooh, my eyes getting teary eyed so that's that and i'm just going to take this or i use the under of this and i just blend I just blend that smudge to be honest. Okay. Oh, I'll go to go back to the other eye as well. I think maybe I smudge a little too much, but I don't know that I mind so much. Oh my gosh, I'm really using natural sunlight, and that sun is just setting in a weird way. Way. I'm going to use this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I do not know if this is better than sex. It's a new one, so I guess we're going to have to find out, right? Um, I always like to just do a little bit on my bottom lash. Right? And then for the top lash, I'll go from in and then... I'll go from under. I'm going to let my married people that are watching this tell me because, yes, according to the good book, <laughs> sex is supposed to be for the married, right? Is this mascara better than sex? Because I don't think so, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, but compared, you see a difference between the two eyes. Let me just do the second eye quickly and get this show on the road. Whew. Okay, that's that for mascara. 
Yeah. For the lip, I always go in with the same MAC stud that I use for my brows. I know that I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to get like a dedicated lip liner, but sue me. And then I just go and line above. Yeah, and then I line under. Bear in mind, I had lip, lip balm on my lips. That's why my lips are not dry. And then I just line in, shade in a little bit. So shade that in a little bit. Shade in the corners. Yeah. And maybe one day I'll really embrace this super dark up lip, you know, and like brown lips at the bottom. But that day is not today. Today I'm just going to blend that color in with the edge of any brush that I find. Alright. So we're gonna blend that in. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this dose of color lippy, and it's in the shade nude mood right and i'm going to clean it out as best as i can because i don't want a lot i'm trying to get like an ombre nude lip so i want to get like a, a light pink just right there okay and we're gonna pack up I don't mind if that blends a little into you know my lip liner and then I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick in the shade honey love and I'm gonna put it in the center of my lip right so we're gonna do that right there okay I'm gonna pack it up again you see that love it and if I was a matte girl I would literally go out like this but I'm not a matte girl I'm a glossy lip girl you know um, I will go in with this Mac lip glass and it's in the shade spiked yeah and because it's colored gloss right I don't want it to take away everything that I have done I just usually like like to put it in the center this is what we have I don't do too much gloss I literally just don't want the lip gloss spilling over my lip and we're done guys we are done let me just use setting spray to seal all this in Okay, we're gonna wait for that to dry and this is the makeup. I'm in love with this makeup. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do even more beauty looks um, and I will gladly oblige you to my very next video. Au revoir.